build a sports car. Use that money to build an affordable car. Use that money to build an even more affordable car. While doing above also provides zero emission electric power generation options. This is Tesla's secret master plan, first published in 2006 on Tesla's blog, and it laid the groundwork for what Tesla is today. The sports car being the original Roadster with a high price and low volume, Tesla's affordable car being the Model S, though not quite affordable for most people, but still in higher volume. The affordable car is arguably the most anticipated car in history, Tesla's Model 3. And the Model 3 isn't just an affordable car, it's the culmination of over a decade of electric car development and production. In my opinion, it is Tesla's best car ever, and here's why. Obviously, pitting the Model 3 versus the S and X is not a fair fight if you just compare them from a size perspective. Each car has its own unique design that may fit one person's needs, but not another. So before you comment that it's unfair to compare these cars, I am not accounting for size differences in the car and only focusing on other features. So first up is the steel chassis in the Model 3. In the Model S and X, Tesla really didn't have much of a choice with their body and chassis, opting for an aluminum design. This helped them achieve the range they did in the past and continue to achieve today. Aluminum is really lightweight and helped offset the weight of the batteries at the bottom of those cars. Unfortunately for potential buyers, aluminum is very difficult to work with, requiring more expensive equipment, which ultimately added to the total cost of the vehicle. For actual Model S and X owners, aluminum is very difficult to repair, which leads to very expensive repair costs, which is not something you want in an already expensive vehicle. According to a 2015 article by Green Car Reports, an owner reported a $20,000 repair cost for a minor front-end collision, which is just insane. The Model 3, on the other hand, opted for a mostly steel chassis, which did add some weight, but also cut down costs, a major goal for the Model 3. Using steel for the body also saves on potential repair costs for owners of the vehicle. Up next is quick manufacturing. Manufacturing Model 3s is very important to Tesla. Ever since quarter two of 2018, they have sold more Model 3s than Model S's and X's combined. According to a January article by Digital Trends, the car could be built in just 40 steps over the course of 90 minutes. This is largely in part to that steel body, which is a lot easier to work with and manufacture, but also because of the minimalist design. Even comparing it to the already simple interior of the Model S or X, the Model 3 interior is completely bare. There is nothing there that doesn't need to be, which speeds up manufacturing and again cuts down cost. I'm actually a big fan of this minimalist design. Once you sit in a Model 3, you realize how unnecessary a lot of the actual physical buttons in your car are. From the air vents to the steering wheel, just about everything seems as simplified as it can be. And this allows you to focus on the actual driving experience, which is just a blast in the Model 3. My next point, and probably the biggest one on this list, is the upgraded batteries. With the release of the Model 3, Tesla came out with an upgraded battery architecture, switching to the 2170 cells as opposed to the 16850 cells in the Model S and X. Probably the biggest change with these cells is that they are more energy dense, which means you can fit more energy in the same amount of space. As you can see, the weight and volume of the actual cells has changed, but the energy density is the main thing here. It goes from 240 watt hours per kilogram to 247 watt hours per kilogram. These new cells also come with an upgraded cooling system with cooling that runs between each row of battery cells. This not only helps cool the batteries while you're driving, but also allows the pack to handle up to 250 kilowatts of power while charging with V3 supercharging. The Model S and X on the other hand are using a different cooling system and don't have those upgraded cells so they cannot charge at those high rates. Lastly is cost, and yes it is a little unfair to compare the cost of the Model 3 to the Model S and X, but kind of putting that aside, I think the cost of this car has really exposed them to a much broader market than what they had with the Model S and X. Anybody that's looking at a new car is probably going to consider this Model 3 because it's not as ridiculously high priced as the Model S and X. It's actually a viable option for somebody to consider an electric car like this that they might not be able to get anywhere else. This is definitely the best value you can get from an electric car that is this cheap. And as electric cars get easier to manufacture, they will get cheaper and... I feel like the Model 3 is almost a proof of concept that you can make an affordable electric car. Granted, it did take a little bit longer than we were thinking, but it is here now. 
So those are my thoughts on why the Model 3 is the best Tesla ever made, but you might disagree with me. If you do, let me know down in the comments. If you think the Model S is a lot better or the Model X is a lot better, for whatever reason, definitely let me know. I'm open for discussion. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button down below, but also make sure you're subscribed. I know a lot of people watch my videos might not be subscribed, so definitely hit that button down there. I come out with new electric car videos either related to Tesla or other manufacturers every single week. So if you want to make sure you catch those, definitely hit that button down there. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.